fam, it's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. So, you all just saw me hook up this beautiful honey blonde wig. Oh my god, I, <laughs> I've been asleep, y'all. You know how long I've seen this wig on the YT? I've seen dozens of people review this wig in like the past few years. For some reason, I just was like, oh, I'll get it, maybe, one day, I don't know. And then it wasn't until I saw Two people. I saw Queendom Mindset review hers, and I saw Just Deej review hers. I gotta double check if that's her actual YouTube name. But when I saw them review, and I was like, yo, why haven't I purchased this wig yet? Do y'all see this wig on me right now? What took me so long, y'all? This wig is bomb. Straight up. Okay, I just realized I didn't tell y'all what wig this is. This is Model Model Rex, R-E-X like t-rex let's get into the general cap construction this wig does come with your two combs in the front but they're like right on top of the part which i hate on the back and adjustable straps here's a quick 360 of the wig diving into the pros of this wig first pro of this wig has to be this beautiful yaki texture oh my freaking gosh i love this texture so so much if you don't know by now you should know that i prefer yaki texture wigs the yakier the better silky texture wigs are okay for example sensational jocelyn that was a silky wig and i actually love that wig so much mainly due to the colors but i hate silky wigs because they're so prone to tangling it's freaking ridiculous when you have something very yakky like this it's gonna last you a really long time. That's pro number one. Second pro of this wig is the color. When I first started wearing wigs, OP27 was my favorite blonde color, period. There's a wig called Danity that I really liked. I used to get the OP27 in it like every few months. Like I absolutely love that color blend. Look at it here. It's such a pretty honey blonde. And then you have like this number four color at the bottom. And look at this dark root. Seamless, love it. Another pro to this wig has to be the style. This is so summer ready, y'all, and it's now pretty much August, and I'm just now getting this wig. Come on now, Gladys, like, what are you thinking? Perfect for summer, you know, it's you don't have a whole bunch of hair just on your back. Falls right over there. And it's, it's the perfect cut. Have these cute little bumped ends. And also, I don't think I've mentioned this in other videos, but every wig I review is heat resistant. So if you don't like bumped ends, you can definitely just straighten this out. Yeah, this wig is bomb, y'all. If you don't have this in your wig arsenal, get it ASAP. Now you probably noticed in the beginning of the video that the parting area was pretty decent, a little bit tight, and it also had a line of demarcation. If you cut the little V, which I tried to display in the beginning, if you cut the V in the part and apply some got to be glue and press down, you'll be fine. Look at this part. Added my powder and I was good to go. Best part about this wig is the price. Y'all, this was $19.79 on wig types. Such an easy slave for less than $20. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I cannot believe I've been asleep for this long. So, YouTube fan, let me know how you feel about this wig. How do you feel about the color, the style? I think it's a win-win all around. For $20, you can't beat that. And this texture is gorgeous. I mean, this is perfect for work, perfect for going back to school. Two thumbs up for me. So yes, if you like what you see here, make sure you comment down below like my video, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all so, so much for rocking with me and watching. Make sure you check right here for some of my videos that I've made in the past week. I'm sure you'll see something that you like, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.